It's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. It's just Shane calling from Legacy Cold Calling. How are you doing today? Hey, Shane. I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, we scheduled a call for about 45 minutes. Is uh, still a good time for you? Um. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it now. Okay, great. So let's just, uh, I think probably the easiest thing is just to find out why you scheduled a call with us. Um, well, I saw, I saw your YouTube ad and YouTube ad, I was kind of intrigued. Um, I have a, a small business that I operate and wanted to see if I can get some more leads to the business for the business. Okay, what are you doing right now? Uh, my business right now is email marketing. So what I do is, um, let's say you have a business and, and uh, a lot of companies now are just kind of going to email now ever since the pandemic hit and things like that. So what I help people do is establish uh, a bigger presence on email so that they can inevitably have more sales through email. I understand. So when you saw our ad, was there something that stood out to you? Yeah. I mean, I noticed that you've, um, some of the companies were going from X amount of dollars and they were doubling their volume uh, and doubling their business. And I think one company in the ad was tripling their business. And, um, you know, I like to be, I like to eventually either double or triple my business or beyond. Got it. So right now, where what are you doing right now in order to scale your business? Oh, I don't know if scale is the word for it right now. I just started the business about a year ago. It's going pretty good. I work with like five clients currently, um, but I feel like I'm kind of capped. So things that I've tried and the way I get clients is really just through like LinkedIn. Uh, either number one is referrals and number two is LinkedIn just like kind of like cold outreach is what I've been doing. Um, and with cold outreach, uh, you know, it's, it's got me a couple of clients, but it hasn't really been what I've wanted it to be. Okay. Makes sense. So um, have you reached out to anyone else besides us, like to try and get you to double or triple your income? No, I, um, I think you're one of the first people I've reached out to. Um, I did see some other programs. I think when I, uh, um, looked, clicked on your ad. I got a couple more ads that came through, but you're the first person or company that I've that kind of came in contact with. Okay. So right now, what are you, you know, I think the easiest thing is just to get down to the nitty gritty. What, what are you making approximately? You can, you can just make up a number if you want to feel comfortable, but where are you at right now in terms of sales? I can be honest here. Like I, I'm kind of a one man shop at the moment. I do have a person that, uh, an assistant that I ha that I work with, but from a sales perspective, um, you know, my, the way that my programs work, it's a recurring program, right? So right now on a recurring monthly basis, I'm at about $5,000. So I average about a thousand dollars a client per month and I'm about five clients. Okay. So how do you get these clients? Uh, really again, it's just through word of mouth and, uh, kind of LinkedIn outreach. So organic, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And are are you happy with that process? Um, it keeps me away from the corporate world. I make enough money to not be in the corporate world, so I guess that makes me happy. Um, but I'm just scraping by, so to speak. Um, you know, my time. I'm working a lot of hours. Um, to, you know, so I'm working a lot of hours because I have all these, these five clients to service. So the ideally is I want to increase my sales to bring aboard another, another one or two writers. Um, and that's, and me do some of the selling that way they, I can train them in the way I write emails. And, and after I do that, well, then they can focus on the writing. I pay them a set amount and I can focus on bringing in more people, but I can't do that now with the money I'm making because it doesn't make sense. I would, uh, I would just pay them all the money I'm making and, uh, uh, unless I was bringing a new business. So in order for me to do that again, I just have to 
bring in new business to uh, be able to afford to pay a writer or two, maybe starting with one. Gotcha. Okay. So let's just say for the sake of argument, we're at the end of the phone call. What would you like to have happened by the end of this phone call? What, what are you looking for specifically? Uh, I just want to see what the program's like and, and, and see if it's, if, I don't know if I'm a fit for it or not, you know. Um, but if it is, I'd like to see if I can get something done where, where I can um, start that path. I'm bringing on new clients, getting in some new leads. Okay. So just uh, help me understand where you're at right now. So you're making, let's say, roughly $5,000 a month right yeah. now. Does that yeah. sound fair? Um, I pay a VA probably about uh, almost 1000 bucks a month. So I take about 4000 Okay. So let's just say we were able to get you to ten, fifteen thousand $15,000, you know, in the next three, six months, what does that look like for your business? What would that do for you guys? Well, I would definitely be able to hire at least another person. So that would definitely alleviate the stress on me of having to like right now, I have like five or six projects that I'm working on simultaneously writing 10 to 20 emails per project. I mean, that takes time. Um, so that would free up my time and it would probably obviously free up my stress too. Right. Cause it's just, you're, you're constantly going, I spend the entire day writing and I don't have that time to get the, uh, some more leads or new, new business into the business, so to speak. Got it. So th- does 15,000 a month, does that seem realistic to you or, or is that just the number you threw out? No, I think that's pretty realistic. I figure if I can hire an entry level writer, I've kind of thought that it's true. I hire an entry level writer, pay them about 36,000 a year. Um, you know, that's about three, three grand a month. You know, if I bring, if I can bring in, even if I brought in, let's say four new clients, I would definitely net out uh, some money on that. So I think I can scale it if I have the right, and then again, quote unquote, the right people writing for me. Okay. But I can't, again, I can't do that until I have more clients to be, give them, give them I, work to do. I got you. So it kind of sounds like scaling is important. Once you get to a certain figure, you want to be able to scale it properly. Yeah, exactly. Cause me doing what I do now, over the course of like the next year, I'll burn out easily. And what I'm making now, I can go back to the corporate world and make at least as much money. Right. Gotcha. Without having to stress about, you know, day to day operations of a business. Okay. So you mentioned a year from now, what happens if nothing changes and you're just like 5k every single month? What, what happens? Can you make it a year? I might be able to make it a year. <laughs> I haven't been through this process before, so I don't know. I do, I do know that I'm, I'm the, the the burnout is slowly creeping in. Um, so if you, so, so if the business people... probably go out within a year. Pro- I, honestly, it'd probably be done. I might call it quits, um, just because of the stress levels. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So is that you know? And I guess it's up to me to ask the hard questions. Is that something that you want to? settle for is to call it quits in a year um ideally no i i, I don't want to make this work i i truly love doing this and I, I started doing this to get out of the corporate beehive or the grind or whatever you want to call it um because i think i have a, a knack for writing and i truly okay. enjoy helping customers out so in a perfect world this is what this is my future okay um, so just to let you know, a lot of the clients that we work with, 15K is, is pretty low, just so oh. you know. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out where your head's at, because let, let's just say, hypothetically, we get you to 15 or even 20K in the next three to six months. Besides that happening, what does that do for you personally? What does it do for me personally? Well, besides hiring my people, for me personally. um, Because it can't just be about work. Yeah, you're right. What what else do you have going on? Any passions? 
Yeah. Like I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have two kids that I'm, you know, saving money for and, and they want to go on vacations and things like that. So I definitely would like to take them on a vacation or two every year. So when you say vacation, paint me a little picture. What do you mean? My vacation could be different than, than you and your kids. <laughs> uh, probably Disneyland. That's where they've been. That's where their heart's set on going. So um, that's where I'd like to take them probably in the next year or so too. Have you ever been there? I've never been there. No, but my kids talk about it all the time. That's all they see on TV. Okay, cool. Um, so I, I don't want to pry, but I take it you're married. I am family. Okay. Yeah. So what about your your wife? Is she pretty supportive of you making the transition out of the bank, or is she like, "Hey, stay at the bank. It's secure. All this kind of stuff." Where she was, where she, she, at? she was kind of against it. You know, um, initially, um, of, for the of, same of, of me leaving, leaving the, the bank. bank? Yeah, okay. yeah. Gotcha. But um, you so know, she against, um, so she against you making twenty k a month or no, she, absolutely not. That's that's the plan is to keep her happy too, right? <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got yeah. you. So, and with this conversation, is this one of those uh, top secret conversations, or does she know that you're reaching? No, out? No, she knows right? I'm reaching out. Okay. She knows I'm reaching out because um, we've talked about it. We've talked about it. And she kind of, you know, on the same page as me. Okay. She wanted me to follow the passion. She's not working right now. But, you know, um, you know, I, I, I literally, like, I don't have a choice. I have to make this work or go back to what I was doing before. Gotcha. Gotcha. So it sounds like you're right now, the, all the responsibilities on your shoulders. Yes, so you're the only one that's working right now? Yes. Not that she's not working as a mother. Have yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, she is working. <laughs> <laughs> she is working double time. But I just mean like you're you're the only one that's bringing in income right now? Yep, exactly. Okay, okay. so uh, along that note, obviously there's always an investment in growing and scaling your business and all that kind of stuff. Do you have the bandwidth to be able to invest in a program like we have, or even time-wise, do you have the bandwidth to be able to allocate? Because it's going to take a few hours every single day to just hone this in, get you to 20K, get you to Disneyland with your kids, make the wife happy, all this kind of stuff. But it's going to take a little bit of inertia. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have some, I have the bandwidth time-wise at night and, uh, uh, even some time in the morning. So, you know, if it was two, three hours a day to put into this, yeah, I think I can make that happen or I can make that happen. Yeah. And obviously we don't want to overwhelm you or anything like that, but I always like to ask, do you have, you know, room to, you know, if we say, you know, jump on a zoom call with one of our coaches, yeah. do you have the time to be able to do that each week and that kind of thing? Cause yeah. we want to scale you to 20 K as fast well, as we can. The good thing about what I do now is I, uh, you know, I, the writing's in my own time. So I can work. That gives me a lot of flexibility during my days. Okay. So a year from now, you know, we partner together. What would you like to have seen happen? Like you could say monetarily, but also what would you like to, what would be success for you a year from now? What, what would make you say, man, I'm sure glad I jumped on board with Shane. I mean, I would say like, even if I can make that twenty thousand dollars a month, that for sure will hundred percent would make life a heck of a lot easier. That's number one, and number two is I know the company is growing. If again, if I have at least one or two writers writing for me, along with maybe hiring an operations person as well, that kind of handles the day to day of the business. Like my focal point is my, and then from that point, my focal point would be scaling beyond that point where I could just focus on sales. And make sure that make sure that my writers are writing quality are doing quality work. Okay, gotcha. Um, a question I like to ask is, <clears throat> let's just say, for example, um, your CEO was with you. Uh, what happens if you know whether it's the bank saying, you know, we need you here at the bank, we need you working extra hours, or your wife says, you know what, absolutely not, just stay at the bank. Then what happens? Wait, can you repeat that for me? Just what happens if you have a conversation with your wife and you're like, hey, I, I really want to grow this business and all this kind of stuff. And what happens if your wife says, 
No, absolutely not. Just stay at the bank. Oh, then she's 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 for it. She wants me to do something. Okay. Business. Well, that's good because uh, you know you wouldn't believe how many people are run into where they have businesses that are just teetering because of the pandemic and it's just a nightmare all around. Right. Yeah. So, uh, I'm glad that you have support and that means a lot because it's important in this day and age, right? You're the yeah. breadwinner. You got to have that support as well. Yep. Um, so yeah, man, like I don't really have anything else for you. Um, if you think it's appropriate, I could share with you a little bit about, um, uh, how much the program is. Yeah. What yeah how much is the program? What does it work? Stuff. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. It's $3,000. Mm-hmm. It's for three months. Okay. Uh, you get a coach. Uh, we start onboarding you as early as tomorrow. Uh, really, um, we have three pillars. One of them is we teach you a little bit about um, how to prospect properly through social media channels. Like you mentioned, uh, through LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all this kind of stuff. And some of these techniques I use as well. So it's, it's actually helped me mm-hmm. as well. Uh, so I, I don't always recommend stuff that I don't use myself. So, sure. so this is, uh, it's a great program. So the first pillar is all, all about prospecting. Then we talk to you about sales, how to, cl- how to restructure whatever program or service that you're offering right now so that we get you to charge a little bit more. So that's the second pillar. Mm -hmm. And then the third pillar is basically we have a coach that's on call for you. So it doesn't mean he's available 24 hours a day, but if you have questions, if you're on a phone call and you're like, man, I think I blew this phone call or whatever, you just send an email out to the coach and boom, you guys can talk about it and schedule a zoom and all that. And we work with you because again, our mission is to get you up to 20 K as fast as humanly possible. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, all I need is just your particulars, uh, usually a credit or a debit card. And then uh, we just start the onboarding process. How would you like to proceed? Um, well, I do have a question um, and this is my concern. I mean, it, it 3K sounds reasonable. The only thing, only question that I have is before we hopped on the call, I was online, just kind of remember I told you I got a bunch of like uh, ads for other companies um, and I, I Googled your company um, and there was like some, some bad reviews. So I'm, that was a little concerning. I just got to be at the upfront and honest. There was a couple of bad reviews and it made me hesitate just a little bit as much as you're, I liked your ad and you seem like a nice guy. It just, it, it just seemed like the, I don't know, like it was, it was concerning um, about those bad reviews. Hey, I understand. I totally get it. When you're a big company, uh, you're going to get some bad press every once in a while. I'm sure Elon Musk gets bad press every once in a while. One of the richest yeah. men, men on the planet. Um, did you, do you recall like how many reviews there were on our company? I think I saw three bad reviews. Like, yeah. Like someone saying a coach wasn't helpful. And there's another one that's saying that they didn't make any, they didn't get any leads, things like that. I think there was like three or four that I saw. Okay. Uh, did you see the total amount of reviews? I didn't look at that. No. Okay. Just, just the reason why I say that is uh, literally we have hundreds, if not thousands of clients Mm -hmm. and let's just run the numbers here. And every, every time someone says something good or bad about our business, it's actually important to us. But if we have three people out of thousands of clients, what do you think that says about the business? Three people out of thousands. I, mean, I guess that sounds like a pretty good ratio when you put it like that. Sounds pretty yeah, good. Um, yeah. And I don't want to undermine, you know, anybody saying something like, cause there's always going to be somebody that's not happy with something. And uh, we do our best to follow up with that and all that kind of stuff. But uh, for yourself, you know, the only thing that I could say is like with regards to jumping on board, is this something that you would see that that would actually help you? Cause I, I don't want to think it would. Yeah. Cause I, I don't want to take anybody on board that are, they're like, you know what this, I don't think this will work, 
But if you think this can work on, on my side, I, I see this working all the time for people, but I want to make sure that we're putting you in the best position to succeed as quick as possible as well. So that's why I asked, like, do you think besides the reviews and the $3,000, do you have any other questions for me? No, I mean, that sounds pretty good. I mean, the price sounds does sound a little steep. It does sound a little high. Yeah, so if I, if I said we're going to get you to $20,000 a month in the next three to six months, and I said it was 50 bucks, would you believe me? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, you're right. Um, well, that sounds pretty good. Is I mean, I mean, I've talked to my wife. It's probably something that I, I, I'd like to move forward with. Um, I, I do have a question. Do you, would it be possible? And this is just an ask. To split sure. up into two payments. Would you like two payments? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do something like that. Because that um, way I can. Um, that way I can um, bill for my next month. Um, I have yeah. enough to cover at least half now. And then I would say about three weeks from now, I, as my building goes through and then I'll have money to put forward the other half if that works. Yeah, for sure. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we uh, do half now and then we'll do the other half 30 days from now. So instead okay. of three weeks, you get an extra week. So four weeks done. And in the meantime, I'll get you onboarded. We'll create your account for you, all that kind of stuff. Get it all set up. And we'll introduce you to the coach, all that kind of stuff. Does that sound fair? That works for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. We'll just get going. Thanks. Here. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> all right. I'll stop recording.